Using the transmission monitor. Another useful tool for diagnosing sites is the transmission monitor. To find the transmission monitor, select service from the drop down menu on the top right of the map page. Then, from the service drop down, select transmission monitor. Type in the Comtower or CT serial number and click Submit. If you don't know the CT serial number, you can find it by navigating to the site associated with the CT, then select Tech. Notice that the CT serial number on this page is also a link that will automatically open this CT's transmission monitor in a new tab. The first thing to look at is the timestamp of the last data transmission from the CT, found here. A healthy CT will have reported data within the last hour. To the left, we can see the serial numbers of the probe and comm tower, their product codes, and product codes for any other connected devices, such as weather sensors. There should be four timestamps per product for each check-in, separated by 15-minute intervals. The CT coordinates are a clickable link that will take you to the exact coordinates of the comm tower on a map. This image depicts a site where the CT is reporting data, but the probe or other devices are not. Only the serial number and product code for the CT are shown. In this case, there is likely a problem with the probe or the cable connecting the probe to the comm tower. The sequence number is a good indicator of CT health. A higher sequence number, often in the hundreds or even thousands, indicates a healthy CT with good connectivity, while a lower sequence number indicates frequent resets and poor connectivity. Finally, the current firmware version can also be found on the transmission monitor. A list of the most up-to-date firmware versions along with more tutorials and other helpful information can be found at aquaspy.zohodesk.com.